Hi, our plant this week is Arnica, and I'm here in the woods surrounded by tons of leaves and very few blooms, but there are more blooms coming. It's just a little bit early at this elevation. I'm at like 5,400 feet-ish, and I'm in Montana, and it's June 11th. So um, I know they're still coming. I found this really beautiful one that's in bloom right now. And I am planning to harvest um, a whole bunch of them. And if you are gonna harvest, you wanna harvest in an unsprayed area, an area that has an abundance of the plant. It's a perennial, um, so it does come back every year. And there are different parts of the plant that are medicinal. So um, the, the root is, as well as the blossom, the flower. So it's best to harvest them on a really sunny morning when they're looking super happy. And so I'm gonna do that for sure. I brought a jar with high hopes and I have a dandelion in here. So yeah, I'm gonna harvest some dandelions too because they're also really happy up here in the mountain area and not sprayed. So here's the loon. Um, how we use Arnica in our family is um, a couple different ways. We use it internally and externally. I don't actually make medicine myself that we ingest out of Arnica, but um, I do buy this homeopathic remedy, Arnica Montana, and it's awesome. I actually took it after I gave birth to my second kiddo, and it was really effective, a good pain reliever. Um, it's great for inflammation. It's great for um, swelling and bruising and I just use it sometimes as an ibuprofen or Tylenol alternative so it's really effective um, I just take like six balls of it and hold it under my tongue and it's awesome so I linked it in my blog it's actually an Amazon link sorry but um, it was the easiest way for me to show show you Anyway, um, internally, this is what we do. You can, you know, there is, there's tincture, there's tea, you can take different, you can take it internally in different ways, but um, this is the only way that we use it in our family is the homeopathic remedy. Um, I also love to make salve out of it. We have Arnica gel at our house too, um, which is a great pain reliever. We use it on our backs if we have back pain. Um, really any area we use the salve on. So if we have irritated skin or wounds or anything that we is painful um, externally, a salve is really amazing. So that's what I'm planning on making. So I'll harvest a bunch of the blossoms and dry them on a screen for a little while and then put them in a jar and fill the jar with oil, something cold pressed. So I'll, probably, I'll actually probably use cold pressed olive oil or maybe Maybe jojoba oil. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, if you let your blossoms go for too long, I wanted to bring an example of one that I saved. Um, they go to seed rapidly. So you can see that this one is, it's only, I picked it two days ago and it's already like this. So you want to make sure that if you're um, making an oil with the arnica that you harvest, that you um, use it quickly because it goes to seed in a hurry. It just likes to do that. So um, yeah, be speedy about it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I kind of think that's it. It's just really, it's a powerful plant, another yellow flower. Um, you'll see it in the woods. It kind of has a fuzzy back to it, which you maybe can see in the camera. Um, so you'll know when you see the leaves. I'm actually just going to pick this leaf. They're, um, the leaves will be like right opposite of one another on the stem of the plant. So it's kind of easy to identify. And they are also in a heart shape, which I think you can see this guy here. Um, similar to the balsam root, way smaller. But the balsam root that we just talked about, how they had heart-shaped leaves, so does Arnica. So there are tons of different species of Arnica, like 29 different ones, I think, in, in um, the U.S. So maybe more, honestly. I don't know if that's a known fact. Um, 
And you can find it in mountainous areas in the U.S. and Canada and Europe. Um, and probably you can find some near you, honestly. Um, yeah, so that's Arnica. I'm going to pick a whole bunch. I'll make sure and share, sh share pictures on my blog. And maybe I'll have some product available in the fall. Okay, yay. <laughs>